17 of Vlogmas. Happy Sunday. I hope you're having a great weekend. It is the last one before Christmas, which is kind of nuts. It's already the 17th and I have so much to do this week. I actually woke up wanting to do everything at once, which was a little bit much. So I think today is going to be about making a few lists. I pulled out my planner for 2024 to see when it started exactly, but I think I'm just going to start making a few lists, spread all of the tasks throughout the rest of the week. It's all doable and whatever doesn't get done, doesn't get done. But I think I just need to start off the week with a plan. And because it is Sunday, I'm going to have one of my reset Sundays where I tackle a few things to get my house in order for the week. It just helps me to stay a little bit focused. Otherwise, I jump around from one thing to another. So today I'm going to do laundry, clean the kitchen a little bit, put a few things away from the weekend. We actually had a really nice night away. I combined those two days for Vlogmas. You may have already seen it. We went to Niagara Falls and Buffalo for one night. We had a great time. It was really beautiful. I really just wanted to have a little bit of time away from the house to relax, just enjoy something different. And I always love seeing the falls. I was so excited that they had the fireworks at night. So I really enjoyed that. We went hoping to do a little bit of Christmas shopping for the boys. At their age, it's just easier for them to pick out clothing. We were looking for a winter jacket. Um, we didn't find a lot, but we still had a really good time. I went across the border to check out some outlets. I met up with a wonderful lady and we had such a great time. Courtney and I have been chatting online for ages and it was so nice to finally meet up in person, have coffee and just have a really nice visit. So thank you so much for meeting up with me, Courtney. I had the best time. The boys went off and did a few things while I did that. I browsed Barnes and Noble, which was the most beautiful store. I could have spent hours in there and I had a couple of things I wanted to get, but the lineup was so big. I couldn't even handle it. So we ended up finding a couple things for James and a few things at Target, not too much, a couple things at Trader Joe's. It was a really nice kind of quiet night away. We walked on the strip on the Canadian side on um, the one night that we were there. It was really nice. So we came back on Saturday and had a few things to put away. I've got a few things to still find a home for and I really just want to get my house in order for the week so that I can start tackling the Christmas things. I did cast on a new project you may have seen. It's in my Cardinal bunny bag and I didn't get as much done as I wanted to because when we left on Friday morning I had the worst headache and I just didn't feel like knitting in the car. We left quite early, so I just rested. And when I went to start the project or to work on it a little bit later in the evening, I had a huge tangled mess. I don't know what I did to my ball of yarn and it took me so long to untangle it. And so that put a little bit of a damper in my progress, but I finally did a little bit of work on my Sophie scarf and it's a really fun knit. I don't know why, this is my second time starting one. I have another one that's about halfway done and for some reason when I knit the other one it just didn't click. I don't know why but now I feel like I have a really good flow. It's just, it might be because I actually decided to use a little counter the only thing I really need to pay attention to is what row I'm on because every eight rows you have to do something and I think I was writing it down for the first one and just picking up a pen and 
jotting it down doesn't seem like a big deal, but it seemed to slow me down. And this is a lot quicker. So I've gotten into a really nice rhythm with this and I'm loving it. This is Clinton Hill Cashmere Bespoke DK. I think it's the color Cognac. It's really beautiful yarn. And I'm enjoying this. So this is going to be kind of like another comfort knit. I need to get back to my advent socks now that I am home and start putting in those heel flaps, but I'm really enjoying this. And I feel like this can be an easy one to take with me if we go out. Um, and I'm really loving it. It's not too big. It's easy to carry around and I'm loving this yarn. So I cast that on. Oh, I didn't mention this beautiful little progress keeper is from Ocean Loops. I purchased this last year. So pretty. I love putting a progress keeper on my work. And this one just helps me to see which is the right side really quickly. So if I've forgotten to uh, click my, um, my thingamajiggy, my row counter, if I forget to click this, I can quickly look at which row I'm on, wrong side or right side and figure it out. So really enjoying this knit. It is about mid morning here. I've done a couple of things already. I packed up some shipping. I asked Glenn to drop it off because they are open on Sundays. I am going to check the laundry, rotate, start cleaning the kitchen, put a few things away. And this afternoon, I'm going to sit down with my planner or my notebook and start making some lists for the week. I've pulled out my notebook, started to make some lists for the rest of the week. I even pulled out my new 2024 Hobonichi, which I'm excited to get started maybe later this week if I have a few minutes. I wanna decorate the cover with some really pretty papers. I've got my candle burning and I wanted to share a couple of things. This Kona 10 square solid pack, I picked it up in Buffalo at Joann's. I took a little bit of a risk. I'm not sure if you guys remember this fat quarter stack I shared at the beginning of Vlogmas when I was setting up this inspiration basket. I want to start a quilt in the new year, perhaps. And I love this fat quarter bundle and all of these prints, but I really wanna do something with a whole bunch of solids in complementary colors to kind of set off the patterns. I really love that look and I don't think I've done that before. I usually just mix and match patterns and have fun with it, but I really wanted part of this quilt to be solid so that like the negative space plays off of all of this beautiful pattern. And I saw this stack while I was browsing Joann's, which was a lot of fun actually. The boys were in the car, so I didn't have a ton of time. And I haven't been in Joann's in so many years, but oh my goodness, I could have been lost in there. It was really nice. And I think I chose pretty well because these solids are going to go really nicely with this stack. There are a couple like this one I don't want in there. But I think all of the blues and teals and maybe this deeper mustard gold color, maybe this color will really set off some of these patterns. I think it's going to be beautiful. And I've been dreaming about a lot of projects for the new year and I pulled out this one because I kept thinking about it. I actually started to browse on Ravelry at some of my favorites and I forgot that I cast this on. And I really wanna make a sweater. So this is the Chunky Dahlia from Lynette. It's a beautiful sweater. I cannot wait for this one. It's got this really pretty yoke. Dahlias are my favorite colors. I don't wanna to share too much because it's a paid for pattern. And I could not remember if I cast this on, if I ripped it out and I pulled out a bag and found it. 
was very excited. It's in one of my favorite large project bags and I already have the rib going. So that is a really nice start. This is the beautiful yarn that I am using. So I pulled it all out and put it in my little cart over there. I am using Sadness Garn in the Coast Base, which is a baby alpaca wool nylon. I don't know what color this is. I think the color might be 2543. It's just a really pretty kind of camel color. And I'm holding it together with this Rowan Kid Silk Haze. So pretty. I think this color is 686. It's a mohair silk. I think together it's just knitting up beautifully. And I'm really excited to work on a sweater. Now, I feel like I have a couple or a lot of projects going. So I think I'm just going to ease into whichever project makes me happiest over the holidays. I feel like my number 10 shawl is going to be my cozy couch knitting. I've got my Sophie scarf that's great on the go. I want to finish my socks. And now I have a garment, which I've been thinking about casting on a new one. And so I was really happy to see that this one was already started and I didn't rip it out. So I've got a really nice start to this. And whenever I can, I'm going to try to make some time to work on this because I think it's the perfect chunky knit for me and I cannot wait to see how this yoke knits up. It is such a gloomy rainy day today which would be nice if I could sit on the couch and just knit but I'm trying to tackle all of the things for my reset Sunday. I've been doing laundry, folding, putting everything away, tidying up and every time I walk into a room, even if I just left, there's something else to pick up. It's like this never ending amount of stuff to do today. I was just in my room tidying up and I spotted something that I got just a couple days ago that is a new favorite and I wanted to share. I mentioned earlier in Vlogmas how I've been having some weird kind of eye reaction it's kind of like eczema around my eyes. It's itchy, it's kind of super dehydrated and nothing I have tried has worked until this. I picked this up at Shoppers Drug Mart the other day. It's Honest Calm and Renew Melting Eye Balm. It's the only thing that I have found so far that is kind of soothing and lasts. I think it's because it's a balm. So it's super hydrating. I don't know how this would be in the morning if you're putting makeup on right afterwards, but I slather this stuff on at night. I put it on when I wake up in the morning. I don't really put makeup on for a couple of hours after I do that. So it kind of absorbs, but it is the only thing that has helped my like itchy, dry, reactive skin around my eyes. It's been a huge thing lately. I have tried so many creams and I even take Benadryl some days because it's so itchy, but this has worked really, really good. I think you can get this at Target and Ulta in the States. I'm not too sure, but I found it at my local drugstore, which is Shoppers Drug Mart, and I love it. 